Hey YouTube, Technomentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix any bug on your iPhone by following these troubleshooting steps that you want to do. Whether the bug is for an app or your iPhone itself, we want to follow through these tips and it will fix pretty much any bug on your iPhone. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and swipe up or click on the home button and we want to close out all the apps that are currently open. As you can see, all these are apps are open. You just swipe up so you can just simply close them all out and it just takes it like that and it will just simply go ahead and close out all of the apps available. Now, after you close out the, all the apps, the next thing you want to do is a force restart. So in order to do a force restart, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo appear at that time, you'll let go of that side button. It's going to be volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to that side button just like that. As you can see here, it's going to say slide to power off, but you do not need to do that. Just keep on holding that side button just like I am here. And we're going to wait for the Apple logo to appear before we let go of that side button. And you may need to do this a few times to get the hang of it. Make sure you press again, volume up, volume down one after another, and then hold on to that side button. And all this is doing is shutting down the phone software and reloading the code. None of your personal data will get deleted. So all of your photos, videos, apps, everything will be on your iPhone. You don't have to worry about that. Once you're back on, go ahead and enter your passcode and your phone should be good to go. Now, if you're still having an issue with the bug, the next thing to do is if it's a specific app, you want to go ahead and update the app. So let's say you have an app that maybe you try to open it and it closes or it crashes. You can go to the app store itself, right? And then click on the top icon here. And then you'll see under all of these apps that have updates available, you can find the app that needs to be updated. Maybe it's Instagram that's having issue. You can click on update and it will update the latest version of that app. Now, also, you can also, if you don't want to click on individual app, you can update all of the apps if you're having issues with multiple apps by clicking on update all. It shows you how many apps will get updated. Now, after you update the app, it's time to also go ahead and update the software of our iPhone to fix the bug. So we go into our setting of our iPhone. And this time from the setting, the like main settings, we're going to go to general. And then we're going to go ahead and click on software update and check if there's a software update available. If there is, click on update now. Now, most software updates give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes to do the software update. And you're connected to a strong Wi-Fi or cellular data. And your phone has at least 50% or more charge. Now, after doing the update itself and you're still having the bug or fix, issue going on you want to find the app that's causing the issue if you recently downloaded a new app maybe that's the problem you need to go ahead and delete the app so in order to delete the app you can simply press and hold click on remove and then click on delete and then click on delete again you can delete the app and you can always reinstall the app if you really need that app by going to the app store and then search up the app right if i deleted blink for example right you can go ahead and reinstall it by clicking on that reinstall button right there now the last thing you want to do if you're still having an issue this might be if it's specific to your safari browser or any browser it's clearing the cache and the data for that browser by going to your settings and this time like for example if i have safari here i'm going to go ahead and look for safari so let's go ahead and see where safari is in our settings here we find safari up top here and i go down here click on clear history and website data and then I want to make sure I do all of them and close out all the tabs again keep in mind if you turn this on all the tabs will be closed so make sure that if you need something you keep a note of that tab so we're going to click on clear and then it'll be grayed out that means we successfully cleared all the cache and doing all this will fix pretty much most bugs or if not any bug that you have on your iPhone. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks like this one for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.